If my opponent don't have the flash enchantment removal, we're gonna do an evil thing. Maybe he has another uh, sunfall? We'll be okay, right? But we're gonna do him so evil. Oof. Are you ready to do it twice? <laughs> Welcome everybody to a deck so evil. I do not recommend it to play it in your local game store or against anybody who you care for because this deck tries to do such an evil thing that I think everybody will hate you afterwards. And of course we are utilizing our painful quandary. But the idea behind this deck was actually to utilize Abzan archetype and we are playing here in three colors Abzan enchantment archetype to play our painful quandary and tend to utilize our Weaver of Harmony, a 2 mana 2-2 two, two, that says enchantments creature you control gets plus 1 plus 1. We don't care about buffing our enchantments. What we care about is pay 1 green mana, tap and copy target activated or triggered ability you control from an enchantment source. You may choose a new target for the copy. It means every time my opponent is playing something with painful quandary on the board, we are gonna copy the triggered ability of painful quandary and force my opponent again to discard a card or losing 5 life ends up at the end as a really really powerful strategy because the win rate is amazing of this deck. I'm currently almost undefeated, I'm not sure about it, uh, you will see it in the thumbnail for sure but also uh, in the title maybe. But let's go shortly through and check out what else is this, uh, has this deck to offer because there are a lot of really cool synergies. You see maybe we have also our Tot Rider and one of Kalix and Kalix I found so evil, so bad and I I mean if I, as soon as I get more copies of him, I mean yes I have some wild cards um, thanks to the steam release, um, I could utilize my steam balance to get some, uh, some gems to get a little bit more packs but nonetheless, um, um, Kalix, the picture is just a little bit weird, I don't like the art of Kalix, <laughs> but it's not the reason why I don't have it. Um, I'm gonna build a little bit more in bluish, non-blockable, but think, Kalix copying Painful Quandary on turn 4, if you have your Jukai easy pulls, because you have Jukai it reduces the cost of Painful Quandary, Kalix being able to copy any enchantment on the board is just so evil, it's just so bad, and it's super good, it wins games, I had a lot of games that we won me like this, you start, you attack with Kalix, or you attack with your Spirited Companion, it can be a 3-3, right, they let it through because they forget about the ability of Kalix, it says any enchantment, any enchantment creature deals damage to your opponent, right? You can copy it. Um, and then you point it on Painful Quandary and people are like, what, I need to pay it double? And then you have Weaver of Harmony on the board and they say, what, I need to pay triple? What the hell? Get out of here. <laughs> Simple as that. Um, really cool synergy here, Restoration of Elganjo and Toscanias Welcome. I know it calls uh, Tos to Tocasias Welcome, but I just want to call it Toscanias Welcome. I'm sorry. It's my way to pronounce the cards. They are like this. Best buddies. Best buddies on the board. Not only Restoration of Elganjo and uh, Tos uh, Toscanias Welcome give you so much card advantage. Also, Restoration of Elganjo for copies can return any card because our painful quandary is a five drop and you see how many two drops we have yes every two drop we gonna return with our ganjo we have no one drops who cares audacity i don't need it this one mana dude that gives token counters to other creatures uh, if you play enchantments who cares i don't need it i don't have space for it i'll rather play my mummy why because i encountered with this deck i think four or five so let's say i play 10 games i played maybe four or five games against five colors um, control deck. They have no chance against Elish Narn. No chance. Every permanent, every removal, everything they have is an enter the battlefield ability. Ossification, um, uh, Stomper, um, this uh, Battle of Zendikar, um, Angel of Wrath, um, um, Atraxa, enter the battlefield ability. Mommy comes into the board, they cannot even remove it. Usually you play Mommy on turn 4 or turn 5, I'm sorry, and they scoop. Ossification cannot hit it. They don't run any other removal. They run like Ossification and this 4 mana domain removal, right? 5, 7 toughness, they, even if they have full domain, they cannot remove it with a sweeper. Ossification do not trigger. They just scoop. So this is why I have two mummies in the board. Not only doubles all our triggered abilities from our permanence, right? It also um, prevents my opponent from, from, from getting his value out. This is why two mummies, super good, super good. Um, yeah, the rest I think is self-explanatory. Shigeki again, because I I really like it. Since Bangbuster Ben, I think Shigeki is one of the more powerful two drops, even if you don't run enchantments. Um, it blocks a lot, it provides you a lot of value. Uh, turn 3, you can use, uh, for example, Cut Down and then activate Shigeki's ability. Um, or you can just, um, in the late game, rebuy your graveyard. 
I'm super good, super good. Uh, Shigeki, uh, really a sleeper in the green mana, two drops. Um, yeah, the rest, uh, is there anything else to explain? I think the mana base is really solid. Ah, mana base. I thought about Mirex, but here I have another painful coin. I'm going to remove it so you don't need to craft it. I thought about Mirex, right? Um, this land. Uh, to just trigger out Toscania's welcome, uh, to just have the ability to produce thingies. Um, I tried it and... It could work, but the problem is here, sometimes the mana is a little bit difficult. We don't have an Abzan, um really great mana base, but this mana that I have here works really well, really well. Um, and uh, speaking about mana base, we have 24 lands, uh, because we have so much card draw, we don't need much more. Um, sometimes I would even consider to cut it to 23, but let's stay with 24, it's more safer. And with this being said, the gameplay will show every synergy that we have in this game, so definitely don't miss it out. So let's go straight there and enjoy the gameplay part. It's time, my friends. It's time to play pure evil again and again and again. Um, and this deck performs pretty good. I think I'm currently like 5-1. Super good. Um, especially because Painful Quandary uh, is such a great... By top deck uh, untapped source, I can play Spirited Companion instantly. Um, Painful Quandary is such a great um, top deck card that allows you to do very much, to do very much interesting things. Um, so next turn, we're gonna Toad Rider, right? There's no reason to not. My opponent maybe with um, make disappear, but if this is the case, so be it. My opponent is mono blue. Um, let's see if we can go the tempo from my mono blue opponent or we gonna break apart on our mana a little bit but uh, looks like my opponent didn't have any negates or any make disappears in his hand so this is good uh, next turn we gonna discard weaver mm, no we gonna discard spirited companion play him for free Yes, please. Draw a card. Let's see if we draw our land. Four mana do nothing. We draw our land. Do we set up... Do we set up the next turn? Let's make it like this. Let's see what my opponent is running there. Because next turn, double painful quandary is more evil than evil copy the trigger from painful quandary with our weaver. Because Kalix. Kalix can start copying triggers or oh, uh, enchantments. And uh, let's take some damage. It's okay. Spirit of Companion and Weaver of Harmony will be my replacements just in case something gonna happen. My opponent has maybe made this appear top decked. Um, there is no other questions asked. Let's bring him to four. This will go through. Um, Genie. Opponent decides to fade him home now a little bit too late. But we are in gold because the ladder is resetted. So people don't particularly know what to do. It's okay. Could go the OP way, play Kalix, attack with both, copy my Weaver because he's also an enchantment. Ah, yeah, then, then we go with painful, right? Painful quandary. Um, although if my opponent keeps mana open, it makes maybe speaks for make disappear now, but he would make disappear the restoration, so he needed to top deck make disappear. We're gonna see. Okay, terror, sure. Uh, not a big actually. Resolve. Not a big game. So this way we play Painful Quandary and can copy the trigger from Weaver just in case if something happens. Let's see if it's gonna resolve or not. This is another question, of course. Or another question that we have here. Spell Pierce, okay. At least we know now what's hiding there. Right? right. Next turn, Kalix will put some counters on our Architect. And uh, this way he can attack. Terror cannot do much. Um, he's forced to bounce it. This will not be really good. So, mono blue on turn six without having um, genie on the board is not a danger. It's more a joke. Um, no, not now. After that, 
So Kalix, of course, first, putting counters on our Architect. Um, resolve. Then we're gonna say, my opponent has maybe a bounce spell. It's okay. So another Fading Hope, although he used already two, so three Fading Hopes, sure. Um, we're gonna attack. Yeah. Okay, my opponent has another bounce spell. Not sure what I can do here. Ah, to copy the Architect's uh, triggered ability. That's okay. We play Restoration, grab our land, of course, and then gonna show Mono Blue who is the bubble here, right? Because uh, everything else, Mono Blue do not deserve anything else. Um, put it on you because it's just two mana. If you bounce Weaver, who cares, right? Kalix is three mana. This is why paying one extra land, uh, one extra mana is not necessary if you bounce Kalix. This way he has two, three, three threats that he needs to take care of. Oh, finally, they have Genie. 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 Um, so I can theoretically discard the Weaver and play, play the Weaver, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, but this makes my decision a little bit easier. Place around um, counter spell, right? So they cannot counter this. Okay, Charlie had enough. He's like, no, bro. Um, Turn six or seven, Genie is too late, just too late. Um, shortly before Platinum, so let's go and see if uh, we're gonna do some evil work here. And here we are against Chris on the draw. Looks like a good hand to be on the draw. Not gonna lie. Um, everything this no basic lens for ossification. So let's go with with. Um, with farmland, not really important what they play here. Important is what is my opponent playing here. Still no basic land, wow. But uh, restoration will grab us a basic land, so don't worry about that. Mm. You into nothing? Looks like it, right? Um, Scania's welcome first. Then my opponent plays um, Shildred. But it's okay. If I play Shirdred, I play Chukai Ossification. Ossification grip the uh, Shirdred. Uh, I draw a card of it, lose maybe four life, so it's okay. I think this play will be okay. Otherwise, Toscania is welcome into uh, Toad Rider because my opponent keeps three mana open, right? There is a Go for Throat or Grasp waiting for the Toad Rider. Um, if not even more. But um, I think with this play, we force my opponent to put the pants a little bit down. He decides not to do that. Interesting. Mm. We we'll like to double spell with uh, thingy, honestly. Well, let's play a restoration. This will help me a little bit. Grab my white source as a basic land. Because we need it for, for our ossification. Then just chill. Okay. Interesting. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay, also interesting. Still nothing there. Like th there is no creatures from my opponent. My opponent keep double blue or blah blah black means he doesn't have much. Oh no, he used an Ahiri. Um we're gonna discard uh, Jukai. Return Jukai. Draw card. Toad Rider, okay. Um play the Toad Rider. And uh play the Spirited Companion. Escalate here a little bit. And uh, then we gonna do him dirty? What does he need to do? Extra target card from a graveyard for the creature created tier 2. He doesn't have anything else. So uh, investing how much? 7 mana for 2 goblins? In 3 damage. Creature and each Prince Walker. 
sure. So as, as long as I can do it, let's let's do it. Because Toad Rider will go away and legendary creature is missing this way. I cannot cast my Bozaiju on, on this enchantment. That's okay. We have Restoration coming in, drawing us a card. Oof. Good. Drawing us a card with our Toscania... To, 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 to Cassias Welcome. I don't know why I always have Toscania in my head. Um, it's a pretty, pretty place. This is maybe why. Um, you into Jukai? It's okay. Chris. As a removal. Volcanic Spite, okay. Mm, next turn. Don't need to do it now. Because then we can also draw a little bit more cards and so on. And Chris decides to go for destroy all legend non legendary creatures. And this is okay. Um, let's see what we're gonna draw off it. So this is some Rakdos battle. Battle. Uh, okay. Do I play you first or do I play you first? I think Weaver first is better because then I can copy the trigger from Spirited. I can also copy the trigger for um, Toscan is welcome. Yeah, so it's a pure battle, um, battle dude. It's okay. It's okay. We are good against pure removal stuff. And... Um, Okay, and wait until we uh, and kill the Jukai. Good, good turnaround from my opponent. Good, good, but uh, still, classification is a thing. So we're gonna draw a card. Oh, oh, nice. Can even play you first, yeah, to grow it a little bit, right? We're gonna enchant a basic land. Trigger, trigger. Getting you out of the way. And do some evil things. Do the, the Toad Rider things. Another in here, nice. You're gonna create a dragon, but the dragon can do nothing. Like, only if a dragon attacks, he deals two damage, but where? Like, what what, what do you wanna do damage to? Let's draw a card. So draw our Kami. Loop. Oh, double land. Wow. Um, no need to pay here because it says um, except creatures with flying or rich. Um, the dragon is flying and rich. So what we can do here is uh, obviously attack for four. And ouch. Um, and uh, see from there what we're gonna draw. I mean here double land, triple land. Um, it was not the best draw, but happens. One damage to my spirited companion, or to Toll Trident, then he can finish it off with the with the with the dragon. Because it deals two damage to any target. But in the same time, again, is it worth it? Okay. So he's forced now to attack here, right? With the uh, with uh, Thunder Maul thingy. Okay. Cannot flip the battle now. Mm -hmm. So take for another five. Not the best draw, but could be a really powerful draw. Depends what we draw now, right? So far, my old draws were pretty good, and my opponent's draw were also really good. So it's a good game, definitely. Uh, we're exchanging a lot of resources, a lot of values. Okay. Is it worth it? Maybe. One goes on the face. Um, deals here to damage. Is okay. Uh, I can double block this one because they cannot attack anyway. Right. So we go around this. It's not good. This is not good. Like, Mirex or something like this would be nice to draw now. 
because this will give me endless value and my kitty is standing in front of the screen yeah I see nothing I see nothing don't see my happenings um do I care sure Sure. Because if I draw something else like ossification I return um or I can maybe return somehow Kami to my to my hand. Elisha Sure. Don't draw me cards with welcoming, so it's not the best draw, but I have one more turn. One more turn. If uh Elish Norn survives. A little bit too late for Elish Norn to be honest. A little bit early and she will be nice. But... Wait a second. This will be not enough. Okay. So I'm forced to block. Uh, there is no, no way around. My opponent has maybe some damage to the creatures, right? Like the spike. That uh, volcanic spike is okay. Discards a land, draws another card. Juka is good, good enough. Let's see. Let's see if Juka is good enough. It's okay. It's okay. The welcoming is triggered. Mm, okay, this gives us at least a little bit more time. Right? And this returns uh, my my Kami. Take action. For the next turn. Right? Next turn, draw again two cards. So let's see, Chris. It's not over. It's not over. Okay. It is not over. Mm -hmm. Save the Weaver for the next turn to double draw. I think so, because there is no point to play it now. Okay. Okay. So let's let's draw again two cards. It's good. And draw with you another one, so maybe we get some life gain or something on top of it. Oh, Shigeki, huh? Guys, Toad Riders, Restoration. So Toad Rider and Restoration, I think, is the best, the best hit I can do, right? Yeah, because Toad Rider and Restoration drains and gains uh, life and uh, can return other stuff. On a channel for two. Um, I cannot return the, the thing because it's legendary. In this case, uh, Chukai Restoration and Chukai. Oh. Another Restoration is okay. Um, let's see first what we draw, right? From our Toscanias Welcome. Resolve. Okay, Resolve brings me back Elish Norn. Uh, this is also very good. Um, and then we're gonna play you. Green source open, yes. Yes. White. Next. Doggy goes attack because we do the evil thing. You know it. Just chill. Six mana open, not that I need it. I could play more, but I don't want to extend too much here. And um, let's see what my opponent has. Very interesting game against Chris, um, I will say. If he leaves the game without giving me a good game, I will be a little bit mad, to be honest. Because uh, we exchange resources good and he's super close to win the game. Like, literally, uh, he has this thing that deals 4 damage to the face. Um, damage to another battle or an opponent, this one, Invasion of Ragnar. So this can kill me, right? As this turn. 
If I connect now with Chukai, this cannot kill me. Ouch. So we're gonna see. This will be definitely a very interesting ending to this game. So let's see, let's see if Chris has something. That he starts roping me is a little bit weird. Until now he played really smooth. Maybe he's a little bit annoyed, but uh, honestly, I think it was a good game, right? We played fair, we played good. And uh, we're gonna copy this ability. One. Two. Oh, two lines, okay. We don't have any legendaries, um, so there's no need to... To do there anything pass stack action return mummy there's so much lens on top mummy yep uh discard fever 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 come back yeah return diver draw some cards what is there with the lens? Um, you, mommy, mommy will prevent from dying this turn. And uh, one more you. Because his battle don't have entered the battlefield ability. Um, I think this is good enough. Right? This is good enough. It's good enough. So now he needs to first deal with Mami, um, and then he needs to... Yes. You can go for one, right? Okay. Mami. Um, Mami. <laughs> <laughs> this is why it's evil. People don't even give you a good game. I would have given you a good game. Doesn't matter how the game will go out, because it was a really good game. It was a really good exchange of um, spells and abilities. So let's go for one more and uh, then in Plantinum we're going to make a cut, because I think you understood how this deck is pure evil. <laughs> let's go. Uh, and here we are against Max Power. Um, that looks okay to go first, honestly. Uh, we have some card draws, we have some prevention if it's five colors. Um, so, looks good. Looks good. One more land will be nice. Otherwise, uh, I think Shigeki could find me this land. Hmm. Um, not so cool. But, maybe next turn. Maybe. Um, Esper Legends. Max power. No, Mono White Annoying stuff. Mono white annoying stuff. No. Okay. Totally fine. Totally fine. Um, this is more annoying even. Um Let's discount. Right. Right. Let's discount. Um and here I think I will go for damage because I don't think my opponent is able to raise me, especially now with lifelink. Um, so I'm gonna attack definitely, not let my mono white opponent control the things that he wants to control. There is no reason for Kami to stay back, um, but if I would not have um, get a life linker, then I would have definitely considered to play something else, right, or different pattern. But otherwise, I'm gonna, gonna play it this way. And if opponent used this Krelf now, I just wanted to say, this would not be the smartest idea from my opponent, but sure. Um, go for another damage. Sure. I mean, we are beating my opponent for four. He cannot attack now with all. Um, Officer cannot attack and Scrave cannot attack. Brutal Katar can attack but not producing damage. 
and this is four damage is trample right so he needs to be careful what he's doing and uh, how he's doing and the line is not as scary as uh, it looks like okay finally we draw our um, basic source and here's the question do i go for torch rider or do i go for toscania's welcome i think torch rider right because yeah, because to try that just gives me so much more. You cost two mana, right? Yeah. To try to establish board dominance um, is so much more powerful, and they're still gonna go for the face, right? Like, there's no reason, no reason to stay back. No reason to stay back um, because, as I said. If my opponent wants to trade, he trades. Um, not, not. Um, max power, it doesn't work like this. I think Nedecton didn't know how Skrelf works. Because he's thinking to give might protection from green um, to prevent maybe the damage or something. Uh, that's not how it works. You just get hexproof um, protection from this color, not like protection in general because i think scaf is a little bit bad worded for new players right there is protection that gives you protection against certain archetypes or certain types like multicolors werewolves we have uh, katilda have protection against werewolves for example um sir card has protection against vampires i think too i'm not sure something has maybe protection against vampires anyway um but um uh, this is why it's a little bit not smart worded Uh, I play you, but then I don't have enough mana to follow up on my Brutal Qatar. Um, but if it's the case, so be it. Let me create a token here. No, oh, no, you use the Skrelf here to protect, obviously. My opponent is a little bit confused what he's gonna do, but uh, I wanna do this so he cannot attack with that line um, um, unblockable. Although, because of Tasuri, he cannot do that, but I don't wanna put my Toll Trader in front of. Okay, whatever. And he. Why he keep two mana open? Because he has uh, El Ganjo? I think he has El Ganjo. It's okay, I'm not gonna attack. I'm gonna attack, bro. I'm gonna activate my Shigeki to get my fifth land to play Elish Norn and to uh, disable all my opponents enter the battlefield ability. And double my Toad Rider abilities. So you're gonna see everything in this game. Every single thing. It's okay. So Shigeki blocking now Edeline, super powerful. The question is, will I play around um, El Hanjo. but thing is I think he will point the Toad Rider um, towards the El Ganjo, or El Ganjo towards the Toad Rider, right? Otherwise if I would, you see I told you, um, otherwise if I would play around it I would wait until he tries to activate it to use the Shigeki otherwise he can activate El Ganjo in response of my activated ability of Shigeki. I declared the block clone already, right? Yeah, otherwise he could not use El Ganjo. Uh, you? Okay. No harm done. And uh, we gonna follow up with you? Or do we follow up with you and Shigeki? It's a good question, no? I think, I think Mami. I think Mami. I think Mami is the better choice here. We are still in not so to stable life total to allow us to play this. Um, Brutal Qatar will not hit now anymore. Um, enter the battlefield ability, what else he has? Um, nothing else, not that I know. Uh, but our enter the battlefield ability is doubled now, right? So, um, restoration of El Ganjo, and I have Tascania's welcome with Shigeki, and so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. I see, I see. First, let's go and see what my opponent do, right? Because if he sacrifices his Enderline or Brute, then I can replay my Elish Norn. Just a human? Okay. You are just a human. In this case, um, let's play Restoration. This will allow me not only to hit my land drop, but also to next turn play around the double spell. Because obviously, my opponent wants to brute, mo br brute range the um, thingies. And until I. Until I didn't draw my, um, yes, oof, oof, this could be the nail, huh? This could be the nail. And they should play around the thing because uh, you may discard a card with the mana value from your graveyard on the battlefield. So it says um, when you do return target, you don't cast a card. Um, so this plays around to double cast. This allows me to easily play now, for example, Painful Quandary. And then uh, attack with my Elish Norn. If my opponent. No, it's not enough. If you put Sandaline and Vanguard in the board, it's not enough. He needs to put Brute and Adeline. Um, against Elish Norn to, to die, but yeah, I will kill both of them. So now any spell from my opponent will be really painful, right? Um, it goes down to two, that can turn around really fast. And we can return what? We can return... Vescania's welcome. Max power. Thank you for your game. Um, it's just too evil. <laughs> just too, too mad what we are doing here. Um, I think we're going to play one more game. Just to have a little bit better example size. I like because I win. Um, but we are already recording over 30 minutes. Um, do you think is enough? Or let's make one more, right? I think 30 minutes are usually a really good timing. But um, let's, let's make one more. And here we are with a very interesting hand to be on the draw. We don't have any interaction, but we have some bodies to put in front of our aggro opponents and lifelink to recover from it. Also against control, Kami is a really powerful card. And Toscania's Welcome can draw us a bunch of cards. So this is why I think this hand is really interesting to open with. Um, and to see what my opponent is playing. Are you, are you a fellow enchantment player here? Maybe. Eating some nuts, I'm sorry, it's really early. Mono white? I mean, because we have already a land, I'm not gonna play Jukai. Otherwise, I think I'm play Jukai, then Toscan is welcome to just reduce the cost. Mmm. Mono white soldiers. The brutal Qatar gonna hit the board? What? Choose a Planeswalker type, Planeswalker you control, choose a type of Hexproof. Wow. No Black Source. Just to want it pointed out. Um, now no enchantment for one mana. Let's go. Let's go. Soldiers, non-soldiers. Um, don't know what he's playing. Azorius enchantments. <laughs> Never saw something like this. Um, so be it. Opponent is eager to draw cards. I am eager to get lands. Um, so there was a black source. Annoying. Uh, but it's okay. I don't think my opponent can really try to raise me here. Um, next turn... Mm, Kami? No, oh, Kami. Because Juka is an enchantment that triggers Kamis. It's okay. Uh, discard Kami. Return Kami. Draw card. And uh, Juka won't. Mm, another Kami. I hope he don't have Sunfall. Because if he does, it will be painful. It's exiling. Right. This is why I maybe should not have played all Kami's out to play around Sunfall. Um, otherwise, 
this is a board that is really difficult for my um, FHATM as an internet protocol <laughs> um, to recover from three waiting announcements, bro. What's going on with you? Draw card like this. Toscania's welcome and thingy is like this. Um, still no black source. Let's see if we draw on black source, maybe. Would be cool. Shigeki. Is this enough damage? Who knows? Who knows? Is this enough or not? Now we know it. Right? Like... <laughs> how how people say math is for blockers? No, it's not true. Math is also for attackers, but... In this case, I don't care about the... Math. Math is a mathematic. <laughs> Um, you schlinger. Um, nonetheless, um, uh, zero, exacto. You see, I told you. Now it was enough. Um, exactly zero. Didn't make my math. The game did it for me at the end. So, um, for the deck, evil, yes. Fun, yes. Um, powerful, yes. You wanna know more? Do I recommend to craft it? Yes, yes. <laughs> you will never have more fun with a uh, painful quandary than this with this high win rate. Um, I will put a win rate now on top and uh, most likely in the title somewhere because I don't know why people like to see the win rate of a deck. Um, and uh, yeah, otherwise the deck performs super, the deck is fun to play, the deck has... I'm sorry, um, abilities to go against aggro, against control some midrange can finish you faster than you can finish them um but i think depends on the draw um otherwise yeah painful quandary um since the ban of emo despair is painful quandary such a enjoyable card because you pay five mana for literally an effect that cannot be negated by five mana plus value right and this is what i like about it now um and, and and in general, mono black and Ragdos have not much um, other um, enchantment removals. So painful quandary. If it sticks, it sticks, and uh, it's really difficult to deal with. Um, otherwise, yeah, nonetheless, um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Ciao.